Expect real armor, real weapons, and real combat during Slugfest 2. Keith Kaiser <laughs> is learning about the Armored Combat League. Keith. <laughs> yes, it's been hilarious all morning long and fun too and exciting. And uh, I'm, I'm scared for some of these guys, but I don't have to be scared, Ricky, do I? You do not. <laughs> yeah. the, the armor is functional. It's not a costume. This is what keeps our guys safe. All of us have to go to work on Monday. Yeah. So. And so we're talking about 14th century, maybe 15th century uh, armor. And you, you've got to be kind of authentic with uh, with the armor. So you, you guys got to uh, judge kind of looks that over and make sure you're in the right track. Absolutely. For each tournament that uh, we do uh, go through kind of an authentication process. Uh, you do have to historically document your armor. Uh, it all has to, the pieces itself all have to exist within it itself within about a 50 year period. And so we got Sherman using an ax right there, and then Steve, what does he have? He got mace? Steve's got a little one handed mace there and using a buckler shield. Uh -huh. um, a buckler shield, as he's holding it out there, becomes a little bit larger on him, so as he holds it closer to his body, it's a small shield, but the farther away he holds it, it becomes a lot bigger. See. And, oh, 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 he's good for hooking. He, oh, down. So three points. So he went down. Yep. Uh, three points of contact with the with the earth. He's out. Absolutely. Yep. So we're watching a one on one right now in kind of a melee format. Yep. However, the melees themselves uh, this weekend at Slugfest will be five against five, and it goes to last man standing. So you are eliminated once you do have three points of contact yep. with the ground. So if you're still standing up, you are still in the fight. It's and these teams that are coming from around the around the country, right? And yep. so how many different uh, chapters are there? Or how big is the Armored Combat League? Uh, the Armored Combat League did just hit its uh, 500 uh, members uh, nationally, and here in Louisville, we've got uh, really a north meets south and east meets west here. Uh, we really are kind of a crossroads here in the country, so this is a great place for teams like the, the Dallas Marshals and the, uh, the Manchester Monarchs to meet kind of a little bit halfway right here in the U.S. It's happening on Saturday at Sunny Acres Farm. you got to come out and see it. Noon to 8, battles all day long. $10 for adults and then kids 3 and under get in free. That's correct. And you're going to see some live action. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you guys can stop. You guys can stop. Whew. I can hear Steve. Steve's breathing hard in there. Sherman's breathing hard. They are, they are, uh, of course, training and being uh, uh, kind of conserving their energy this morning before Saturday. But you've always got to be on alert. This is crazy. Candace oh. Sterling, which one would you want me to hit next? Which one you like? Both hey, of Sherman? them. Just pick one of them. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm I pick Sherman. Bring it. Okay, I'm exhausted. Just punch it. Oh, if they were coming at, coming at me, it'd be a different story. Better watch out. Yeah. Don't got to get real, real quick. Don't, don't, don't hit a guy with a helmet. When I don't have a helmet on, you can't hit me. Can't hit me. New rules. All right. Thanks, Keith. They That's can been hit a lot you. of fun. Yeah, they're just being nice.